Dina's work. The Woman King. I want you to teach me. Like the Migano teaches you. I also want to be great. To be great, you must focus. There can be no distractions. I will. At the test, I saw the man from Brazil wave to you. You know this man? I... I came across him in the jungle. In the jungle? <laughs> so what? You have feelings for him? I have no way to know how I feel about him. He wants me to teach you. You are powerful. More than you even know. Do not give your power away. Ladies and gentlemen, Gina, Prince Bifford. Thank you very, very much. Um, so much of directing is casting, and you, Tuso and Bedu, made me look like a genius. Uh, you are so incredible as an artist and a human. I'm really grateful that I get to share this moment with you. So thank you. <laughs> so my husband told me uh, to have fun with this since I have a little problem public speaking, so I'll do my best. Um, a couple days ago, a video popped up on my socials. It was two young black girls, two sisters, maybe seven to nine, and they were chanting a goji wusu with their whole chest. It completely filled me because this was a dream in making the film, that our young kids could grow up and know that they truly come from warriors and kings and woman kings. The woman king tells a story of a history erased, a history and a context and roots that are so necessary for us to know. Every film is a miracle, but this film feels like cinematic reparations. When I, <laughs> and when I look at all the next level work that's being honored tonight, I think we are all doing that. We are putting lasting images into the world that can inspire us to be warriors, to be a pilot, to be a queen, an activist, the coolest teacher, to be in love. The Woman King also writes a history that has been deliberately distorted. Research has always been an integral part of my process. Making this film has taught me the importance of understanding who is telling our story. We set this film near the time period when the Kingdom of Dahomey was grappling with their involvement in the slave trade. I wanted to take this on because it speaks to a contemporary challenge that we are facing. How do we as a community build each other up without tearing each other down? I remember sitting in an airport lounge with my husband watching speeches by John Henrik Clark and I.E. Akbar on YouTube. Their words helped me write King Gezo's speech to his people at the end of the film. Gezo says, to hold the people in chains, one must first convince them that they are meant to be bound. We cannot allow those who have never shown respect to us to dictate our truth. And we cannot allow those who have the audacity to question the beauty and femininity of this incredible ensemble of black women to dictate our lens. We, we appreciate all of the strong black men who stand with strong black women and who have championed the film. I promise that the title Woman King does not question your manhood. <laughs> we make films for an audience. And we, want to, and we want our films to entertain. But with this enormous megaphone that we have, we can also empower, we can change, and we can change the world. And it's our voice as filmmakers, as artists that need to be heard. Thank you so much to the Critics' Choice for this beautiful honor. It is a recognition not just for my work, but the work of the incredible cast and crew of this film who truly gave their blood, sweat, tear, and souls to this film. And to my husband, Reggie Rock, who was the first to see the necessity for me to tell the story. And to my beautiful sons, Cassius Mandela and Toussaint Marcellus, who are always the inspiration, I'm forever grateful. Thank you. Thank you.